Hello friends, and welcome to the Saitama Stacker channel. Hey, my name is Dean, and uh, we're going to take a look at what's going on in the Saitama world today. Okay, It's been a pretty rough run, guys. Like, I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. Um, things got super, super exciting, followed by very, very difficult. Okay. So we're going to keep talking about it, and uh, I'm going to show you some things that happened today that I think look pretty positive. Personally, in case anybody's wondering, had a great day out in North Carolina visiting with a company that we're looking to maybe partner with in the future, um, just for our own local family business. And so we'll see how that one shakes out, and we'll give you more details if it comes to fruition. So... Um, so I want to talk about fundamentals, and then I'm going to get into a little bit of the news of what's going on today. Um, again, there's some positive things to look for. Um, the negatives have been covered pretty heavily, and some of those negatives get addressed today by the positives, and we'll talk about that. So uh, let's look at the fundamentals. If you're here for the very first time, two things. First of all, the video quality usually isn't this horrible, but I'm having to use my cell phone flashlight to light myself because I'm in a room that's just very low in terms of ambient light and I'm not at home right now. Um, and second of all, I don't make these videos for financial advice. Please do your own research before you decide to invest in Saitama or any other project. All right. Today is November the 15th. The current number of holders are 237,686. That is an increase of 6,194. Our current market rate is 54th out of the top 100. That is according to our market cap and referencing um, crypto, um, not, it's uh, coin market cap, sorry, coinmarketcap.com. All right. So this market cap of 3 billion, 260 million, we haven't seen in a minute. Okay. We have to go all the way back to October 30th to find that same range, okay? So we had a nice steady climb from the end of October up through about two days prior to the Cytomask launch, and then there was an absolute feeding frenzy, okay? The volume shot way up, the price shot way up. Those of us who were holding, things were very exciting. And then as the Cytom uh, launch party, Cytomask launch party was going, the price did start to dip down. Uh, whales started selling, maybe some price, I, I don't know what you consider price manipulation, but people with big money were moving quickly, okay? And so people who kind of were in the fear of missing out position there and came in at the top, they're, they're probably quite discouraged right now and you can't blame them. We're down about 50% from those uh, the all-time highs, maybe just a slight touch more than that, okay? So the price currently 70737. The volume is 114 million. And in some ways, this is kind of a calming thing for me. Okay. When things were going crazy, the volume shot way up. And we want high volume, but we want it without massive price volatility. Okay. So I think this is just a sign things are calming down a little bit. People aren't so worried about getting in or getting out. And I actually think, you know, if you're a buyer, this is a much uh, better price point than we've seen in 15 days, okay? So um, I'm not saying you should buy, but if you are, you're better off buying today than you were two days ago. That's for certain, okay? The burn has ticked up with the higher, higher volumes in the last couple of days, 5.8%. The current pr uh, market cap and volume would give us a burn speedometer or uh, how long it takes to burn 1% of 32 days. That would be 11.3% per year. And we burned about 17 trillion tokens in the last 24 hours, 16.8. Okay, so let me pop out and show you some, I think, good news. Okay, so there was an AMA with Steve um, and Russell. Let me go ahead and just get through this ad so I can... Um, pull the feed, you can see here that I'm into it, not very far, okay? I'm into it so far about 23 minutes. And in that first 23 minutes, there were some pretty good things that have come up already. I'm curious to watch the rest, but I'm making the content 
first, and then I'm going to have to watch this because I've got a flight early in the morning, and I don't want to fall asleep without getting to you, showing you what's going on with the fundamentals, and talking about a couple of positives that I'm seeing. Okay, so Steve's hosting, Max comes on, and he gives some clarifications about the Cytomask wallet. Okay, there were some things that were actually in the film during the Cytomask launch, but I totally missed them because the video quality was kind of poor and the sound quality was poor. The people that were there were doing the best that they could do with the technology that they had. The behavior and things like that that people have concerns about, I fully acknowledge those, but they were also trying to do their best to help those of us who couldn't be there get a feel for what was going on inside. And yes, it was you could classify it as unprofessional behavior, I've addressed that uh, in a stream last night, but people were there to party. They were there to enjoy the accomplishments of Saitama up to this point. And ultimately for me, I just didn't get the information. So this AMA right here is great in terms of bringing that information down. Max talks about the Cytomask wallet. He talked about reflections, okay? I did not catch this in the, uh, in the Cytomask launch, but there is a baseline Um, staking rewards, they're not reflections, but the staking rewards, a baseline of 5%. If you hold for 30 days, there's a bonus 2%, so now you're getting 7. If you hold for 90 days, there's a bonus 4%, so you'd be up to 9. And at 120 days, you're getting 11% in staking rewards. Okay, Staking is essentially setting your coins aside in a wallet so that they can be used as liquidity. They're still your tokens, Okay, you can pull out of the staking at any time, but you get additional rewards for essentially lending your money to people that are trading in and out. Okay, uh, and we'll get closer, more in depth on what staking is as the side of mask wallet comes to fruition. Okay, another thing that came out of this that I've seen so far, there's been a lot spinning on this Lily coin and Lily Medical, and people talking about uh, fraud investigation of the um, one of the developers or the CEO of Lily. Uh, his name is Brad. I believe it's B-D, B-E-A-T-T-Y. <clears throat> and so I didn't know anything about it. I did try to look about it uh, up as much as I could last night. I didn't really find anything that was really in depth about what was going on. Russell talks about it in this video and essentially says that they were aware that the guy runs companies that large companies frequently deal with legal um, complaints and that it wasn't something that as he did his due diligence was overly concerning to him at the time that it was more of a corporate based issue. And because this gentleman is leading the company that his name is tagged to it. Okay. Now I'm not saying that is what's going on. That's just what Russell says. You should watch it for yourself. But the one takeaway I had is They're not running from this. They're not pretending like there isn't anything going on out there. Russell um, goes at it head on and addresses it. Um, And we'll have to watch going forward and see how that plays out ultimately. Okay. So I thought this, this AMA so far, the first 23 minutes have been quite good. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest. I'll probably fall asleep while I'm watching it. So I'll, I'll, if there's any major other things that come out the back end of it, I'll try to address them tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Okay, I'm gonna have to take my light down. I wanna show you something else. I'm sharing my other uh, screen from my phone and just show you that. So if you go to certic.org, this is the company that does auditing of digital um, uh, projects of software, okay? so. They have done several crypto projects. They're considered one of the leaders. And if you go to their website, which is certic.org, and search for Saitama, you see Saitama token pull up. If you uh, click on it, it takes you to an audit for Cytomask, okay? And it just essentially shows, as you scroll down, that's in progress. It's under assessment by their experts. So it's truly being audited. Okay. It, it exists. It's out there. It's not a myth. It's not a scam. It's being audited. Okay. And Certic isn't our friends that they're just going to help us do us a solid and put something out there for us. Okay. It's 
it's being audited. Now, the other thing that came up as a part of this is that why didn't the development team just tell us that the Cytomask mask wouldn't be ready by the launch? Now, I heard this on more than one occasion, but I'm going to point to one specifically. Um, this is actually in a retweet on Russell's page, but I think it's also a retweet, the retweet of this, um, this crypto sucks um, handle, quite the handle. But it was notes that somebody did of the AMA of Russell with Just a Man on um, YouTube, J-U-S-T-A-M-A-N on 11-11. Okay, so November 11th, two days before the launch, the third bullet point says, Russ not wanting to put 100% confirmation on the Cytomask app store launch time and date. Due to Certic audit still ongoing, not wanting to launch until app is 110% secure for its users. Launch is dependent on Certic dev team green light. A huge emphasis on the company putting user safety at the core of their app. Okay, so that's prior to the launch. I really think that they had the best of intentions to get this prepared by launch. And Max actually talks in this AMA that he did today with Steve at Rocket Crypto, even in the first 23 minutes that I've seen, that he's hired like a team of engineers, like 10 engineers to put this together. So um, just be aware it's out there um, and they're working on it and hopefully we'll have it very soon. They're again saying one to two weeks, but Certic is very thorough. They're on their own time frame. There's nothing we can do to speed them up. And as soon as they have it, they'll um, they'll bring it to us. So let me jump back into my screen capture software and move forward. All right. So let's take a quick look at uh, reflections and then I'm going to sign off here for the night. All right. So I've been tracking my rewards and these reflections since August 31st. And in the last 24 hours, I received 342 million free Saitama tokens as a reward for being a holder. Now, these are different from the tokens that you would get as a staking reward. These are just reflections. It's built into the contract that 2% of every buy and sell gets redistributed to the holders of Saitama. So people essentially buying or selling pay a little fee that we as holders get to share in. And it's proportionate to your um, token count in the project. But for me, since August 31st, I've received 17 billion 787 million tokens. Okay. If you want to read more about it, go to saitamatoken.com. And uh, in the ecosystem tab, they have um, a little description of how that works. You don't have to do anything to get them. Okay. There might be a few centralized exchanges that are not participating, but if you're holding it in any DeFi wallet and if you're holding it in L Bank, um, you know, some of the other centralized exchanges, you should be getting the rewards. Just write down the number of tokens that you have in your wallet, wait for 10 minutes and check it again. If the count goes up, whatever wallet you're participating in is receiving those uh, reflections, okay? Folks, in spite of all the crazy, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Um, so check back with me tomorrow. And if I make it home early enough from the airport, we'll watch our Saitama stacks grow together. Appreciate you all. Peace.